Welcome to QDL. QDL is your look at who and what is making news in the world of quality. I'm Dirk Ducharme, Editor-in-Chief of Quality Digest, and we are at the Hexagon Live 2022 show in Las Vegas, and uh, we're going to look at a, a brand new product from Hexagon, and with us today is uh, Chris Cox, sales, uh, sales engineer with Hexagon, and this is the AT500. That's correct, yeah. Uh, tell us about it. So this is our new product, is the AT500. Um, it's replacing the 400 series um, wine. So what we have done here is we've made it totally uh, wireless. So there's no need for um, a controller because now the controller is embedded in the, the base here. The batteries here are hot swappable. Pull them in and out. It's completely wireless here on the front here. Uh, the Bluetooth connectivity, uh, for those who need to do a level routine, uh, can use an app to do the, the level and also wireless connection with the computer. Uh, what we've done here with uh, those 400 users that have used that in the past, you had to have the 400 level to gravity. This tracker here, you do not have to worry about that. You can have it upside down, inside out, doesn't matter. Um, it's running 10 times faster than the 400 series at 100 hertz. Okay. So 400 was the predecessor to this? 400 was the predecessor. Um, so with that 100 hertz, you're allowed to do a continuous point measurement with your corner cube and you won't skip a beat as far as you're measuring for those uh, metrology users that needed to scrub the surface for uh, doing a, a, a surface profile. So um, back up a little bit, you mentioned, you mentioned leveling it. Yeah. So I guess this was something I wasn't, I guess I should have been aware of, I didn't know. So with other trackers, they had to be, they had to be leveled or somewhat level or? Well, uh, for, it was a requirement for the 400 series trackers to have it level to gravity. Okay. Our, our 960s and now the AT500 and also the ATS600, okay. they do not have to be level to gravity, but if you need that, you can run a level routine. Okay, and by, by not level, I mean you could even have them like tilted? Yeah, or upside down, or upside like down. the one okay. behind you, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's the advantage there? Well, just, I mean, or this just setup, this quick set, setup. Easier setup. setup, okay. Easier sure. setup, I mean, okay. um, yeah. you know, it, it, just, it just speeds up the process. Yeah, you just plop it on there and you're plop ready to go. Okay. Ready okay. To go. Okay. But cool. if you need that, you know, um, you, you can do that with this one as well and run the level. And when you said, uh, and when you said wireless, that's getting the data from here to the, to the controller? Yeah, or, doing or, or the wireless or, connection to the con computer. Okay. Yeah, no more controller. <laughs> and and uh, so basically just power into it and that's it? Yeah, you, I mean, if you wanted to run power, you can, but uh, the batteries oh, are you're hot swappable. Battery? Yeah, yeah okay. just, just swap them in and out, and you're ready to rock. Okay. Um, so you, you still have the advantage uh, distance-wise um, that the uh, 400 series had. Which is, which is how high? 320 uh, meters diametric. So, okay, 320 meters, okay, yeah. all right. Wh which is? In diameter. In diameter, oh, okay, yeah, so right. wow, 161. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, okay. got it, yeah. Um, other advantages uh, with it, you can do Bluetooth connectivity with a thermocouple, so if you need to monitor the temperature, you just put that in and that has a range of about 30 meters or so. Okay. And what other difference from the, from the 400? Uh, well, the, the, another big advantage is uh, we've elevated our B probe, right? Okay. So our B probe is now uh, more accurate. Um, it has a longer range and it has a bigger swing angle as far as the acceptance to be able to measure it and it's also dynamic. So if you needed to, say, uh, do some tool building, you need to watch the, the numbers wi live while they're happening on your computer, okay. uh, you can do that with this one now. Um, the, uh, the styluses are interchangeable um, and customizable, so you can do different diameter probes, point probes, it doesn't matter. It's using the same calibration routine that the, uh, the, um, the T probe is using, so same calibration. Okay, and what is the difference between this and uh, you have another model. Uh, the 960. The 960, okay. So this is an ADM tracker. Okay. Uh, the 960 is an AFIM tracker, so oh, an interferometer. Okay. interferometer. So uh, for those users that need an interferometer tracker, that, that's, that's what That's more, more accuracy, right? Slightly more accurate uh, okay. in a linear direction, but slightly more accurate. But th this one is, you're talking microns. You're really splitting microns. And who's, who's the market for that? Uh, the market is for, um, you know, industrial type companies um, that just really need an out of the box tracker ready to go, right? I just pull it out of the box ready to go. Uh, those clients that um, are doing tool building and they need a, a, a IP54 rated tracker, which this is an IP54 rated tracker. Um, for those clients that maybe are maybe priced out of our, our Cadillac behind me, our 960, okay. right. uh, th this is another option because the at that speed that the, this tracker is running, you're, you're really, 
you're really at a good point to. to okay. So it's it's I mean, calling it entry level probably isn't really fair, no, but yeah. but but it is it is less expensive than 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 the 960. And yeah, but the 960 has a lot more features of, as exactly, far as yeah, the, the yeah. scanning with the, yeah. the AS1 scanner. Uh, the T probe is, you know, has its accuracy sure. improvements and um, and it has a better swing angle as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so who who is who do you consider your market for this? Well, uh, the market is really anyone really uh, automotive, aerospace, um, industrial type companies uh, doing alignment work. Um, I mean, really anyone that needs uh, a out of the box tracker um, that's ready to go, needs some probing capability maybe needs some extra range as far as the distance to be able to measure, um, needs maybe some sort of um, wireless connectivity with the, the, um, the hot swappable batteries as well. But I mean, really it's anyone. A anyone that needs a dynamic tracker um, that's, that's able to probe fast, have that range, and then straight out. And, and, and maybe they don't need all the capabilities that you would get with, with the Cadillac here, with the 960. Yeah. Uh, they, they can get from here, okay. Yeah, they can, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And uh, what about software? So, uh, it's included, a uh, free year of Inspire software is included for the first year. Yeah. All right, and the, the probe as well, or is that, that, uh, that an optional? It, it's an option, so you can either get the tracker by itself, uh, you know, with our corner cube, with a year so uh, subscription of software, or you can get the uh, uh, the probe as well. So. And is this this is already on the market, or it's it's about it to go? It is on the out market? on the market. Yeah, okay. it came out a couple, uh, I believe, two weeks ago. So. Oh, two weeks ago. Okay, yeah. great. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Well, uh, once again, thanks, Chris. No problem, Thank you, man. Thank you. And uh, that is it for today's QDL. Thanks for joining us. Uh, if there's some other products you'd like us to bring on the show, let us know. Just email us at qdl at qualitydigest.com, and uh, I'll do my best. That's it for today. So long. <laughs>